I'd like to thank everybody for your comments, for your emails, and uh, we're going to try to post everything that you send us, and we're going to try to answer them. Now, forgive us if we don't get an opportunity to answer everybody's, but uh, thank you for sending them. We really are going to try to do that. Suggestions, love to hear it. Comments, love to hear it. Please send us your comments. Last video we did, uh, we talked about uh, telescoping gauges and ball gauges. Well, there's other ways to measure inside diameters, and this is one that has been around for a lot of years, and that's inside mics, which I'm not a particularly big fan of, but they work okay. Uh, by the time you change the mics for different ends, for different sizes, you almost have to reset the mic all the time, and that's kind of a pain. But if it's, uh, if it's the only tool you have, you make it work. So how do we check the inside? Again, this, this takes a little bit of uh, delicacy. This is that art form, the little bit of a, a feel that you have to have. The way I like to do it is I like to go inside like so. I don't know if you can see that on the other camera there, but I'll try to get my fingers out of the way here. And move it back and forth and up and down, right, left, up, down, right, left, and keep unscrewing it. Keep trying to open it. So anyway, we're going to move it up and down, right and left, until we get it just where we want it. And it should be able to stand on its own all by itself if we get it right. So it takes a little bit of finagling because you don't want to get a false reading, which you can do. And that's again is where this kind of where this art form comes in that we talk about all the time. So right there is about where I think is one inch and seven hundred and fifty thousandths, which is what this ring gauge is. Well, the mics are off just a bit. It's off about two tenths here, uh, and you can adjust them. There is an adjustment right here, putting a spanner wrench in there, and you can move the main barrel and align it with the hash marks here. So that's one way to do it if that's all the equipment you have, and that's a good way to do it. But I've never been a big proponent of uh, inside mics, frankly. Now, here you go. Ha <laughs> ha. This is the baby. But you got to have a ring gauge. You have to have a fairly expensive piece of equipment. And dropping that guy in, might, uh, let's see, Jim, can you get a good shot of that over here? That's pretty easy. What do we got? One inch 750. So there you go. One inch 750. You're all set. Go to your part that you're checking. Stick that baby in there. Let the handle go. And out it'll come to 1 inch 750. Pretty easy. But, again, expensive piece of equipment. And if you don't have it for a couple hundred bucks, you can get inside mics and you can do the same thing. This particular set will go all the way up to 12 inches. So you can take, change the ends out, put a different end on it, and by doing that, you can extend it so it gives you every possible combination from one and a half inches all the way up to 12 inches just by changing the ends. And again, sometimes you have to fool with the adjustment here on the end to get it just right, or maybe with the barrel here. Uh, and another way to check this, just to make sure, is to check it with a set of mics if you've got mics. But if not, there you go. You check it, uh, check it by adjusting the ends and setting it to a master if you happen to have one. So that's the story for Inside Mics. Any comments or questions? Love to hear them. Thanks for watching.